myself through depression. I have accepted it and I've just continued to just take the shit. But the things that I have heard coming out of some people's mouths on TikTok about me is disgusting. The allegations that people have made up make me feel sick. Now I, I'm going to say a lot about that on here because it's being dealt with off of here. And I, I've had an email this evening, a good email this evening about that and it's being dealt with with the right people. People need to think twice before they speak on social media and say the allegations that they make. I can take the stupid childish allegations like, oh, what's, a, what's, what's a silly one? A silly one. I don't, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but I can take the silly ones. But how dare and how disgusting for someone to go as far as saying that I have done stuff to kids? What the fudge? And these people can sit and say it's going to be karma on me. But trust me, it's going to hit them ten times as hard. Those kind of allegations you cannot just throw around the internet. It is disgusting and it is vile. And not in a million years would I even think of doing anything like that. Ever. Ever. What? How people can look at me and think I would do that as well? I, it makes me upset because I like to think that I don't come across like someone like that. You know, I have nieces and nephews and I've worked in childcare for a very long time. And like the police said, I've got my CRB and it's completely clear. It was sent last week. But you cannot be throwing stuff like that. Throw around petty stuff like, oh, she's this, she's that. You know, she did this, she did that. She left her house. She spoke to John's sister's wife's goldfish down in the care home. That is petty. But these people have made a very, very, very big mistake by streaming to the world that I have done something to children. And they might laugh and think it's gonna come back on me. Trust me, it's gonna come back on them 10 times as hard. You cannot lie about stuff like that. You can't joke about stuff like that. And it's being dealt with and I will make sure it's dealt with. And the last person that did this to me, I was actually nice enough and I said to the officers, let's just drop the charges. I don't want to go to court. Tell them to leave me alone. End of story. But do you know what? It's time now that I don't go down that route anymore and I'm going to just take it. Take it and make sure it's dealt with. Because after today in this whole setup situation, it's just made me realise that... I can't just sit and let this happen to me anymore. I cannot sit and let, like be told that people are saying I'm doing things to kids. Like that is, oh, the, the fact that would even come to someone's head makes me sick. And it's being dealt with. And it's being dealt with off of TikTok. I'm not going to talk about that situation. It's being dealt with. Be careful about fucking throwing allegations out as serious as that. Because you cannot be doing that to people. And it's going to come right back in your face. It, that's just, just vile. Ha, ha, like, no, that's not me. Like, no. 
Um, but yeah, what happened today wasn't fun. And I hope if there's someone watching that is easily led, please don't fall for it. I mean, I had reason to. I was getting photos. I'm at the train station. I was getting proof. So in my eyes, I was like, oh, she's actually, you know, this isn't a setup for once. Um, no matter how much you hate somebody or have a problem with someone for no reason, the worst thing you could possibly do is one, set them up, which happened today, and two, go on social media and say that they've done something to kids. No matter how much hate you have for someone, you do not do that. What is gonna make these people happy? When I, I've got to be careful what I said because I don't want fucking ambulances and police at my house again. I'm absolutely fine. I'm not feeling like I'm going to do anything. Don't worry. No one needs to phone anybody. But it's like these people, the only satisfaction they're going to get is if I take myself. But you know what I'm trying to say. That's like the only satisfaction. There is only so much apologising someone can do. There's only so much someone can do. I'm not doing any harm on TikTok. I just sit here and I chinwag and I chat about random crap. Life, being a Lebanese, doing my nails, baking. I'm not doing any harm to nobody. But these people, the harm that they are creating for me, for no reason, is disgusting. And I don't care how much someone hates me and thinks I'm the worst person in the world and thinks I'm racist and thinks I mock and thinks I do all of the things that I would never ever 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 do in my whole entire life I might have said something that I thought was something else yeah I fucking learned from that mistake trust me you do not set someone up the way I was set up today because quite frankly now I have been left to struggle to pay my bills I now my confidence has been completely knocked. My trust for anyone has completely gone. And now I'm just not going to want to date anybody or see anybody or talk to anyone because I could not have what happened today happen to me again. Do you know how terrifying it is when you're sat there at a bus, at a train station and someone saying they can see you and that they've arrived and they're there and they can see you and that they're coming and they're not coming is the most terrifying thing I have ever experienced and I have never run and jumped so fast in a fucking taxi in my whole entire life now no matter how much you hate someone if you think that is okay then you need to honestly take a step back and look at the, the way that you are because I would not allow that to happen to anybody, no matter if I hate them, no matter if I don't like them. Thank you for the positivity, by the way. I think I need a little bit of that. But anyway, I'm going to stop chinwagging. I wasn't going to mention what happened today. I was happy just sitting here and playing like I was okay.